This reaction is brought to you by my $5 or more patrons at patreon.com slash alexheights. I'd like to thank Manchester Pictures, Identitex, Steve Aldersley, Kurt David, Joe Brown, Mason Frost, Thomas Amos, Matthew McLaughlin, SPP, Andreas Glacel, and Biff C for sponsoring this video, supporting the channel, me and my family, uh, allowing all of this nonsense to continue forward unabated. Thank you guys. Hope you enjoy. So we've got a an 80, what is it, 82 minutes, almost 83 minute long album here. Um, so I just brought, I brought the bottle into the room with me and uh, I'm just gonna pour myself a, a bourbon and Coke and uh, I'll probably pour several of these throughout the recording process. But you know what? We gotta do what we gotta do, right? Anyway, I hope you're all doing well. Um, today we are finishing off our Led Zeppelin binge. There we go. Um, we've done six albums of Led Zeppelin, six albums of Stereo Lab. Uh, we have one more Stereo Lab album to go, and then we'll be done with this alternating thing that we've been doing. Um, cheers. So, um, Physical Graffiti is the album we are doing today. Um, I will loop back around to finish Led Zeppelin at some point in the future. Same with Stereo Lab. There's there's way more Stereo Lab to do after uh, the sixth album I'll be doing next than there is Led Zeppelin. Um, so I think if you count Coda, there's what three more albums because there's uh, Presence, In Through the Outdoor, and then I think Coda, if I'm not mistaken. So we're kind of almost done with Zeppelin, but. It's just, I, I, I like to do about five to six uh, albums from an artist at a time and then move on just for my own sanity. Because I like a little bit of variety in terms of not only genres, but just people making music. I like to experience different people and get new history. So, today, Physical Graffiti, we are doing this in one video. It's probably going to be the longest, excuse me, video that I have ever done as far as reaction goes. Because I think the wall was like 40 minutes for a 70 minute something album. So this will probably be longer. It all depends on how much I have to say too, because I had a lot to say with the wall, um, a lot of commentary I put into that video. So um, yeah, this is just classified as rock. I think this is kind of their like leftover dump album. Um, because if I scroll down here and look at the, there's a uh, Houses of the Holy outtake, uh, two of those at least, three. Um, there's a Led Zeppelin 3 outtake, a Led Zeppelin 4 outtake, about three Led Zeppelin 4 outtakes, as well as a handful of original things. Um, so there's, I mean, this is kind of like a Kid A amnesiac sort of a thing, um, except it's just, it spans longer than that. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, um, they had to take a little bit of a break because I think Robert Plant had gotten into an accident, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so this is two years after Houses of the Holy. Um, and it's, it's, it's long. There's 15 tracks here. Um, but people say this might be one of my favorites. It's a lot of people's favorites. Uh, I don't know if it's because of the variety. Um, the only song on here I recognize is Cashmere. I've heard that opening riff of Cashmere. Um, and that's all. That's the only thing I'm going to recognize here. So I think we're just going to hop right in because we got a lot of ground to cover. Um, yeah. So let's just jump right on in. Custard Pie. Not a great song title, but what can you do? Uh, kind of like the song remains the same. It, I didn't love it. It was, um, I, I get, I get flack for saying, uh, the song remains the same is kind of bland. Um, it's just, uh, how do I describe it? It's uh it's, it's very straightforward, simple, very one note. 
Um, and it's just the, the tone doesn't do anything for me in both cases. Um, this, this, I think I actually preferred maybe a little bit more than the song remains the same, actually. Um, it was okay. It was okay. I, I'm, I've, I've kind of come to learn that like some of the opening tracks on Led Zeppelin albums aren't usually my favorite except for like immigrant song, but, uh, I digest the Rover. This is a Houses of the Holy outtake from two years prior. You know, again, something I might get some flack for, but it's just my honest preference and opinion. Um, I much prefer, like, I've never gotten much, like, emotional reaction or emotional um, resonance out of, like, insane guitar solos. Um like some of the ones that I've, the individual songs I've reacted to from the Madison Square Garden performance from 73, I I watch them and for the most part, like musically, they're not very um, emotionally resounding with me. But as a musician, I watch it and I'm very impressed. So it's like, I do get some enjoyment out of it. It's just not like a personal emotional connection to the music uh, because it's like those solos are often very, um, they're not super, I mean, they are stepwise motion technically, but they, they're just way too like messy for me emotionally. Um, and it's more like, you know, those wailing crazy notes. Some people can really get into that. And I, I, you know, I wish I could, but the very, the more simple riffs from Jimmy Page I like way more than any of the solos. Like I'd say probably the solo I have vibed with best was probably in Stairway to Heaven. I think that was the most easy to digest and um, it wasn't hectic and crazy. It actually like it was pretty straightforward to a degree. Uh, but some of the other solos and other tracks were just almost like it was more showmanship for me that I was able to vibe with than the actual like musicality of it. But in the rover here, uh, there's like just a very simple kind of little riff that plays over the chorus. And I mean, even something like Immigrant Song that has like, you know, a two or three note riff that plays through the whole thing. Do, 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 do. Um, that I vibe with so much more. I, lo I love simplicity. Like effective simplicity hits me so much more emotively than like, like I said, I, I'm really impressed by that stuff, but it's just like, it doesn't hit me as a person. Um, so I really love the more subdued, uh, stuff from page. I, I find that to be far more. And I, like I've said, the slower blues songs, I like those as well, rather than the crazy hectic fast ones, but to each their own in my time of dying. Eleven minutes.
Calm down, buddy. Wait, so you say is that my dying cough because the guy coughed? That's funny. Um, so eleven minutes is a little bit tiring on first listen, but I that uh, there's like what was it? Open A tuning um, from Page, and then like a fretless bass from John Paul Jones sounded really cool. It sounded really cool. Um, just a little bit long for me. And again, like I said, those kind of solos, they just don't like register with me on an emotional level. Um, but they are very impressive. It's cool. All right. Side one, done. Next side, Houses of the Holy. Obviously supposed to be on Houses of the Holy, but it was not. Um, 1972 is when this was recorded. So let's see what this one is. Weird that they thought that that one wouldn't have fit on Houses of the Holy. That's like uh, a little bit more of a straightforward kind of rock song. Um, definitely fit better than uh, Jermaine, which I mean, I'm not upset that Jermaine made it on there. I love that song, but th that makes sense. That makes more sense than Jermaine. But I like the kind of like chunky sort of sound on that. I couldn't tell if that was the bass or the uh, the guitar. Good. Trampled underfoot. Where uh, next two tracks, including Cashmere, um, are tracks that were recorded for this album. So here we go. It's a pretty cool riff. I like that. Had a really cool, uh, was it the clavinet on that as well? I dig it. I can get behind that. All right, Cashmere, the big song. I've only heard this opening. It's a long song too, eight and a half minutes. If you had one shot.
and it's done. That was great. Um, I like I had no idea what the rest of the song would sound like. I was like, okay, maybe it's just gonna be a bunch of like hard rock stuff that I just won't love. But man, um, that that like Moroccan flair, that's kind of that's what the cashmere reference is, right? Um, or no, plant was inspired during a drive through a desolate area of southern Morocco. Um, no, that I, I loved that flair to it. And it was very sparse. Like, it didn't get, like, super crazy intense or anything like that. It was almost more orchestral in that way. Um, I dig it. Quite possibly my top five favorites for Led Zeppelin. All right, let's keep trucking. Um, technically halfway through, I guess. I don't know. feels weird that we've been going for 50 minutes. and I feel like we're halfway through. Um, in the light. Oh, it was pretty cool. I like that one. Um, a lot of variety. Um, it See, like, when I hear tracks, like, In My Time of Dying, just that format of song, as I'm listening to it, I feel like I just don't f love that this is a long song. But a track like In the Light or Cashmere, um, I feel those types of formats of songs, those I don't mind being long. I mean, that's just a, obviously a preference, but... Um, I, I like when Led Zeppelin kind of dabbles in that progressive realm. Um, when they bring in a lot of different instruments that almost act as like, you know, composers almost, or, you know, um, like arrangers. Rangers. Um, yeah, that was good. I like that. Brawny War, this is from Led Zeppelin 3, obviously, 1970, five years prior. That's legit. Uh, I love, I love Paige's acoustic arrangements, and not necessarily like the the folk songs, but just like these finger picking style, like traditional folk tunes. Um, they're so good. Really like them. Down by the seaside. This is from Led Zeppelin Four. First one uh, here from Led Zeppelin Four.
You see, when the, when a solo is like ornamental and it doesn't take the spotlight, I find it works like I it goes down a lot easier for me because like right now, it's like the solo is kind of complementing that riff that's going on. Like that that I like that I like. It sounds like a Neil Young song. I like it. I dig. Like I said, it was kind of like a Neil Young s sort of song. It had that kind of like folk rock vibe. I like that. It's cool. This um. This album is shaping up to, to be a favorite. It, it's it's going to rival um, Untitled, that's for sure. There's a lot of cool stuff here. All right, 10 years gone. Let's keep trucking. Pretty good. I'm liking these. Um, yeah, pretty much like every song after Houses of the Holy, I've been digging pretty good. Let's, let's hope that streak keeps up. I, I like that uh, the, because it said here on the, the Wikipedia page for this song, uh, Jimmy Page had originally intended the song to be an instrumental piece. He recorded around 14 guitar tracks to overdub the harmony section. Um yeah, a lot of different like guitar motifs kind of coming in, uh, in different channels as well, different uh, mixing on all of them. Uh, it was pretty cool. I didn't love that one as much as some of the previous ones, but it was very compelling. So Night Flight, we have five tracks left. Let's go. So that was a an untitled outtake, interestingly enough. Um, not bad. As far as their like upbeat blue stuff goes, um, that was also quite engaging. I like that more than was it uh the rover? Was the rover blues? I can't remember. I did actually like that a little bit more than in my time of dying. I know that's controversial to say, but it's what I feel. The wanton song. The wanton song. Not wanton wanton when maybe it is wanton i don't know i don't know which word is which let's listen
another pretty cool one. Um, I was thinking that might have been like a throwaway just based off of the title, but uh, that's actually pretty legit. Pretty legit. Um, it. I'm not necessarily liking this last side as much as side two or three, but it's still pretty solid. Three tracks left, guys. We're almost through. It's weird because it feels like I've been sitting here forever and also not very long at all. It's bizarre. Boogie with Stew. This is a untitled outtake. Um, writing credits include Ian Stewart and Mrs. Valens. I don't know. What we got? That was pretty cool. Uh, definitely wouldn't have fit well on Led Zeppelin Four, but um, I dug that. I, the production more than anything. It's like I don't, I, I don't mind that kind of like boogie woogie chord progression. I don't love it, um, but that production kind of like sent it over the top. That was pretty cool. Two tracks left. We can do it, guys. We can do it. We're almost there. Black country woman. Is the country black or is the woman black? Your adjectives. Your adjectives are confusing me. Should we roll it, Jimmy? We roll it, man. We roll it, Jimmy. Uh, Plant's vocals are kind of weird on that one. Uh, he surprises me sometimes with like his deliveries, uh, like some of the ones he sung like through a harmonica or something on some of the past albums. Um, I didn't mind that one. I didn't mind that one. That was okay. Not a favorite, but uh, fine. I liked Boogie with Stew a little bit more. Final track, Sick Again. Whew. We're almost done, guys. Let's go.
And just like that, my Led Zeppelin binge has come to an end. Well, I will say, as far as hard rock goes, this has been the most consistently palatable album from them so far, which is surprising because there's more material here. Um, but there's more variety in it too. Yeah, I was surprised because I was expecting like, you know, things to sound very much like they were from certain eras uh, and the new stuff would sound really new, but that wasn't really the case. Um, it was a good little like mix um, of a lot of different stuff. So ones that I didn't love, I wouldn't say I dislike them, but I just didn't vibe with them a ton would be uh, Custard Pie, Rover was okay. Um, in My Time of Dying, I didn't vibe with a lot. Houses of the Hole, I didn't vibe with a lot. Um, Night Flight was okay. Uh, that last track, Sick Again, I didn't necessarily love that one either. But highlights for me were Trampled Underfoot, Cashmere, In the Light, Brawny Ward, Down by the Seaside. Um, Wanton Song was interesting, and Boogie with Stew I also uh, jived with. So very interesting album. A lot of stuff going on here. Um yeah, uh, this will be an interesting follow-up, which, for those of you who don't know, uh, a week to two weeks after I do a first reaction, I will do a follow-up video uh, just talking about my thoughts on the album uh, once all the dust has settled and I've had time to kind of sit with the music for a little while. Um, sometimes my opinions change, and it's a long video. Sometimes they're exactly the same, and it's a short video. Uh, so if you're not subscribed, what the hell is wrong with you? Smash that subscribe button, put a crack in that bell, turn it into the Liberty Bell. And uh, you can catch that um, follow-up when I do it. Um, but yeah, there it is. Physical Graffiti. Done. Solid stuff. Um, right up there with uh, Led Zeppelin 4 and Houses of the Holy for me. It's a, it's a tough one. We'll see how it all pans out afterward. So anyway, that is it. That is Led Zeppelin. A um, couple things to plug real quick. My Patreon, patreon.com slash Alex Heights. Uh, I have one more Stereo Lab album to do, and then after that, I believe we're doing a poll album again, which uh, people on my Discord will, the community on my Discord will choose four albums. Um, they'll kind of, you know, rank them up and down. Uh, and the top four will make it into a poll on my Patreon. And all you need is a dollar a month to be able to contribute. Um, that's all you need to contribute to be able to vote in these polls. Um, so every three to five albums, I'll do a poll album. Uh, and I believe that's coming up pretty soon. So if you want to get in on that, now is the time to do so. Um, I believe we have, how many patrons do I have right now? 30? 30. Uh, and for some reason, only about half of my patrons ever vote in these polls. Uh, sometimes upwards of 20, but that's about it. So if you want to contribute, a uh, dollar a month is all you need to be able to vote in those polls. Uh, and also the Discord. Um, now that we're done with Led Zeppelin, we're going to do a Led Zeppelin discussion. Uh, it probably won't be super soon, uh, maybe in a week or two. Well, I, I'll probably do it once my follow-up for this is out, and then I'll kind of, on the Discord, sort of schedule a time to do a, a Led Zeppelin uh, discussion where everyone on my Discord, uh, people who are willing to do voice chat, they can chime in. People who want to be in the text chat, they can chime in. Um, usually those go like two hours, um, but I, I'm trying to like truncate them a little bit and make them a little more simpler. Um, it all just depends on how much people have to say, really. But Led Zeppelin discussion will be coming up, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, as well as more uh, individual um, song reactions from Madison Square Garden as well. I'm trying to do more song reactions uh, as well. So that is all. Thank you all so much for watching. This has been fun, interesting, informative. But I'm eager to move on to New Order. We're going to finish up New Order. That'll be the next binge I do. So anyway, that is all. Thank you for watching. Godspeed.